Tesla, it's Patrick. You're watching Tesla Trip and welcome to more Tesla news. So we've had a first sighting of the new CCS superchargers over in Europe. And it's interesting how Tesla is doing it is they're actually using two cables at the supercharger station, one for the, the standard type two over in Europe and the other one for the, the CCS. They also stated that they're gonna be making adapters for the Model S and X, which is really hopeful because hopefully, you know, in the United States are gonna do the same thing there will at least be adapters so we can make use of all these new charging networks that are popping up with level 3 CCS. Anyways, I thought I'd make this video today, uh, second one of the week, just because this news is so big. And I just kind of wanted to show you guys and give you links to the original video so that you can see it. I knew something was up on that Model 3 because that charge port was so big. <laughs> and it looks like in Europe it's, it's just made for the, you know, the CCS charging. If they're retrofitting all the ones in Europe, makes me wonder if they plan on retrofitting all the supercharging stations in the United States. And here's the big question. Does that mean that they're just going to change to CCS and that all the new Teslas that are going to be coming out are going to be CCS? And even though they'll still be superchargers, they'll use that CCS standard. I love how small the charger is and how it hides in the taillight currently on the S and the X. But I mean, if you can charge three or four times faster, you know, maybe, maybe that might be um, the new supercharger version 3 that they're talking about is having multiple connectors on the supercharger stations. One CCS and one the standard Tesla connector. What do you guys think? What do you speculate? Elon Musk was tweeting out that he's hoping to unveil the prototype of the Tesla pickup in 2019, which is great that it's, he's planning on it. I thought he's always been planning on it. I thought, in fact, I, I, back at the Gigafactory opening, he said that they'd probably unveil the Model Y and the pickup this year. And some would argue he kind of unveiled it with the semi last year, but I don't think that huge thing that was hauling an F-150 was really what he was talking about. So anyways, super, super cool that they're gonna be unveiling a truck. Wanna see what they're doing? Cause Riv Rivian's unveiled their prototype and it, it looks pretty cool. Um, We'll see what the timeline is for Tesla. I might have to get one of those. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see who, who gets to market first and what's going to be the better uh, truck. Elon was saying that 300,000 pound towing capacity on the, the Tesla and Rivian's 11,000 pounds. We've seen Model X's tow similar capacity of muck on rails out from the boring tunnels. So it's possible. I don't know what kind of range you get. I'm looking at getting a camper for my Model X and that 5,000 pound limit. And it's, you know, if that's the dry weight, it's not really like the loaded weight. And there's there's a lot of things to factor. I'll probably do a video on it, on what I end up doing um, in the springtime. Please stay tuned for that. And also, if you're looking at getting a Tesla, man, Tesla's not uh, backing down. They're trying to get as many of these things out by the end of the year as possible. They now have a waiting list because if somebody cancels an order, you can get in on their order if they cancel by the end of the year. Just uh, go to your local Tesla store and let them know you want to be on the list. And if you need a referral code for six months of free charging, feel free to use mine. If you guys want to contact me, I'm at Walking Crow on Twitter or um, pat.lawson at wildwestev.com. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.